You guys, I am so excited. This is an impromptu video because you will never guess what I just picked up. I just picked up my Manjaro, the name brand. Get into it. Junior wants an Navi on my team. Okay, let me calm down. <laughs> Literally, I'm recording this as I just came from the pharmacy to pick it up, okay? Let me tell y'all this story. Let me first put the windows down and turn off the car. Hang on, well, I could do that well. I'm talking to y'all. I'm so freaking excited. So excited, y'all. So, okay, I went on Wednesday to, not went, but I digitally, like I typically do, um, I think I told y'all in the last video, um, and first of all, I'm sorry, I'm being rude. Hey, y'all. <laughs> if you're new here, I am Keisha. <laughs> I give updates on um, my, my journey right now. I'm doing a whole series of my journey in real time, as you can see with this video, in real time of um, using a GLP-1 GLP medication. Um, I have been using a compound version of Manjaro called Trizepatide. Um, I am on my 10th week, I believe. Um, so go back and watch all of the series, all of the episodes and things like that. So you can kind of catch up. I have everything from when I first ordered it to now in my 10th week. Um, and all the good and bad things in between symptoms, yada, yada, yada. So for my family, for y'all who have been riding with me this whole time, y'all know that I have been on compound this entire time. I have never had name brand Manjaro and okay so this is what happened so i told you guys that i did get um a pa for it i did get a prior authorization thanks to the good people at fridays um join fridays which is the company that i've been using same thing i have a whole video on that so if you have not watched um, make sure you go back and watch that um but i have not been able to find it so something told me to just go and like try again because it's been some weeks now since I first um, got the prior authorization and prescription for it and called around to a couple pharmacies. I really, I think I only called around to three local pharmacies. I use CVS um, and they all said they were out of stock. It's on back order. All the things that I've been hearing from the community. So it's coming up on time or was coming up last week on Wednesday. Um, for me to reorder my next dose of my compound because I literally just on Thursday, I do my injections on Thursdays, use my last dose. So Wednesday, um, I did an order through um, the, the Fridays app now, which they have. It's so, so easy, easily made to basically like go through refill or request a refill for your prescription. Like you don't have to go through to have another appointment, all the things. Um, so on the request, and I think I did a screen record too. So if I did, and if I have it, I'll insert it here to kind of like, just give you a visual of it. Um, um, my kids are, are pulling up <laughs> with their dad. So they're probably like, why is mommy recording? Or why is mommy sitting in the car? Um, anyway, so I ended up, um, it says something like, do you want to send your, your prescription into, um, the pharmacy whatever blah blah so i selected all of that and then hang Okay, so I'm I'm so freaking excited. I'm just like messing everything up. So long story short, let me just make it easy. I called my pharmacy, the, the closest one to me, and I just happened to ask. And this is what I did um, weeks back when I first got the, the PA and the prescription for Manjaro. And they were like, no, some back order, no, some back order. You know, I was like, okay, do you know how long? And they were like, I don't know. You know, they, they were just so vague and, and not really giving me any information. Okay, so called, spoke to the pharmacist, and I said, you know, hey, I'm looking for Manjaro 2.5. Do you have any in stock? He said no. I was like, do you know when you'll get it in stock? And he and he kind of like took a pause, and he was like, um, I mean, he was like, do you have a prescription for it? And I was like, yes. He was like, well, if you send in your prescription, you'll, you know, we'll we'll let you know when it comes in. Basically, that was he was the first person 
out of the three pharmacies that I called to say this to me. So this is new information. So I hope that this helps anyone else out there who may be struggling with finding it because I was unaware that if you in give them your prescription that they kind of then go on a search for it, like not necessarily like having any in stock just in their refrigerator in the pharmacy, on, in the pharmacy, right? So did that, um, I think that was Wednesday, Thursday, I got a text because I get like the text alerts and things like that from um from CVS. So I got a text that said, you know, what did it say? Hang on, let me let me find it. Okay, so it basically said, thanks. We'll um you know take your prescription and fill it for Manjaro, and we'll let you know when it's ready. So I was like, well, that's super exciting. Um, so that was Thursday, but I was like, I still didn't have my hopes all the way up because I was like, you know, who knows? It could it could take weeks or, you know, however long to take for it to come. And um, and y'all know, sidebar, that I'm getting ready to go on vacation. And I know from what I hear that you can't, like the compound can't be out of the refrigerator from what I hear. So I'm like, how am I going to travel with it? How am I going to travel with these insulin needles and all of the things? Like it's not even going to be possible. I was just in my head. Like I'm thinking I'm going to have to skip a week. So they sent me the text that says, you know, we'll let you know when it's ready. So today's Saturday. I'm like out and about shopping. I might do a whole separate video. Um, <laughs> on my shopping trip and my shopping haul because we're trying to find stuff for this cruise and you know getting all this last minute stuff because we leave in less than two weeks um so i'm out at the mall shopping and then i get a text saying hey your order from manjaro is ready for pickup I said, <laughs> insert some praise and shout music here okay i said skr skr let me stop what i'm doing I, I was already going to leave the mall and everything anyway, but I was like, let me go pick this up today, okay? I'm not waiting. I'm not delaying. So that is where you guys are up to speed with me now. Literally just picked it up and I'm going to open it with you guys because I didn't even open it yet. So another thing, here, let's look at this together. Let me cover up my information. so excited this will be my thumbnail so excited <laughs> okay so i asked the pharmacist when i picked it up because i'm like like i told you guys i'm leaving in less than two weeks and i think one of you guys thank you um to whoever gave me this information when i mentioned about traveling said that this does not have to be refrigerated it can be at room temperature um, so I just asked if could they were like, do you have any questions? And I, I asked that I was like, does this have to stay refrigerated? Can it be left at room temperature? Whatever, blah, blah. They said it. Um, dang, I forget the length of time that they just told me. But for weeks and weeks, it can stay out of the refrigerator. And as long as it's at 86 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or lower. So the only thing that I have to be mindful of, and I might just like try to travel with an ice pack or some kind of like little ice bucket or something to keep it cool because we're going to be in the car um, traveling for the first part of the trip for 17 hours. And I'm going to have to bring two of these with me because one, we leave, we leave starting our trip in the car on Wednesday. Um, and y'all know I do my injections on Thursdays, so I'm gonna need one for that Thursday. And then I'm gonna need one for the following Thursday when we're actually on the cruise. So, um, I, you know, just to be mindful and I'm also going to, um, reach out to the people from the cruise line just to make sure that I can travel with it. I don't know if I have to give them any kind of heads up to let them know that I'm going to have this with me. Um, obviously once I get on the ship, I can leave it in like the room refrigerator, but, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if I have to kind of give them a heads up that I'm traveling with something like this. So I will let you guys know that because I know someone else told me that they were traveling and going on vacation and wanted to know about all the restrictions and all that kind of stuff too. Um, so I won't have to fly with it. And that is something that unfortunately I can't help you guys with unless, you know, I do the research and let you know, um, because we're flying back. So by that point, those two pens will be gone. They'll be done. And then, um, yeah, so I don't have to worry about flying with it. Cause like I said, we're driving down, but all in all, I am so excited. And with my insurance, I have Aetna. I live in New Jersey. That cost me $50 out of pocket which I've been paying $179 for the compound, which again is a blessing compared to some of the prices that I've seen out there. Obviously, you know, 
I'm not paying market price for what this is worth. This is worth, what, thousands of dollars, child? <laughs> um, so $50 was what I had to pay out of pocket. So not only did I get blessed with it, which I'm so excited to, you know, have an easier pen system and all of that, all of the jazz, but it was less money. So now that is less money that I had to pay. Um, hopefully I can continue to get these refills. Um, I, you know, like I told you guys, I'm not in a rush to move up. This is the lowest dose. This is 2.5, but we'll see how it goes. I'm curious to see if I have any different um, symptoms with the actual name brand versus the compound. Um, we'll see. I obviously will keep you guys updated, but this was a very quick impromptu um, video because I like to give you, you stuff in real time. So this is real time right here. Okay, real time. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much it for today. I'm starving. Um, I've not eaten all day. All I've had today was some coffee and a granola bar. And that's not on purpose. I really was just like ripping and running. I didn't want to eat any fast food or anything greasy. So I got this like salad from um, this local pizza place near me. They have this really, really good Mandarin salad. It has like Mandarin, oranges, um, uh, what is it? Blue cheese, really, really good grilled chicken, um, all the things. So that is what I'm about to go devour right now and going about the rest of my weekend. But I am so excited. I just wanted to share that with y'all. So let me know where you guys are in your journey. Are you on compound? Are you on name brand? Have you tried both? Like where where are you? Like what, what do you feel like is better? Or have you noticed a difference? And I obviously will let y'all know <laughs> if I feel like I noticed a difference. Um, but that's it and that's all. Make sure y'all subscribe because I went and looked at my analytics and it said that, you know, I'm thankful for all the views, thankful for all the likes and comments, but it was like 86 or 76% of y'all that are viewing this have not sus subscribed. So why have you not subscribed yet? Okay, subscribe <laughs> to my channel so that you can continue to stay in the loop with all the updates. Um, and like I said, if you're new here, go back and catch up and watch all of the other videos that I have dropped. Um, and stay tuned for all the other updates coming up with me, not just the Manjaro journey, but get ready for the cruise, get ready for vacation, um, and all the crazy fun things that go on in my life. <laughs> so that is it. I hope y'all have an amazing rest of y'all weekend or day or whenever you're watching this. Um, love you, love you. Peace out. Peace out, peace out, peace out.